I'm a real lazy bum when it comes to non-dinosaur fauna. For mammals, fish, sea and flying reptiles, I keep myself updated on only a few groups or individual animals that interest me. When it comes to the pterosaurs, beyond a basic knowledge, I've never really been interested in only one group, the Asdarkids, and it's easy to see why. They're big and they're awesome. Who can forget this? Also, if you've ever read James Gurney's Dinotopia series, you'll know about the Skybacks and the Skybacks Riders. Way before the Navi were riding their Ikran, so this is a pterosaur I couldn't avoid. Which is why I'm glad to finally have a good, serious take of this animal in the form of this GR Toys Quetzalcoatlus. Now surprisingly, we don't have as much of Quetzalcoatlus as we might imagine with all the popular imagery. The type species is Quetzalcoatlus nothropi, and yet the remains we have are elements which are non-diagnostic, meaning it might even be invalid. Reconstructions have used the much better known smaller species, Lawsony, and of course study of other Zdarkids to help fill in the missing pieces. As luck would have it, just last year in 2021, a paper was finally published by Andres and Langston Jr., attempting to fully describe and clarify this pterosaur. It's a fascinating 148-page read as they share their detective work, and since I can't speak intelligently enough to do it justice, I'll leave the reference for that paper below. Do go check it out. I will however show you this diagram from that paper. Now I've taken the liberty to colorize it to make it easier to see. The bones in white are preserved elements, in cyan the elements from referred specimens, and in red are completely unknown elements. They also estimate the wingspan to be 10 meters, which is a big come down from the exaggerated claims of 20 meters or more, but still impressive. Now I'm annoyed when claim scales are wrong, and here this is way too big for the claimed 1 to 35 scale. The folding of the wings makes it hard to estimate, but with a piece of string measurement, I arrive at roughly 1 to 25 scale, which I'll admit is pretty iffy. In any case, it's definitely too big to scale with most of my other dinosaurs, but it does allow me to recreate this. Though my PNSO giraffe isn't quite large enough for this, which I prefer. A Quetzalcoatlus takes its name from the Aztec Feathered God, and one might say fittingly so given its large, impressive size. And fittingly, GR Toys has coloured it as such, Aztec art being full of reds and yellows. This is a really beautiful model, and painted in a way befitting of GR Toys' reputation. The colours are really bright and vivid, with so many areas of complexity. Now starting with the head, you can see this beautiful gradation of colour in the crest going down here. Then this transition in the beak. The eyes are very carefully painted. The jaw articulates, but sadly, at least in mine, it's very loose. So, it's about as useful as a paper umbrella. Now I'm not too upset because inside the mouth, we have a rather unusual but likewise beautiful mix of colour. I'm not generally fond of purple as a colour, but here you can see how pleasing this looks. Yet because of how smooth the blend is inside, it works to complement the beak as well. And that's why I'd have opted to keep it open anyway. Down the neck, you'll see how gradually it fades into the white on the throat and belly.
and on the dorsal aspect. Just look at this, the way these bands are so subtly painted Then here the bands of white coming in so naturally. I think the paint application speaks for itself. Of course, let's not get distracted from the wonderful detail, for example, in the downy integument. On the wings here, with these creases to really add to the texture. You have these fades of colour. And then the banding. Again, so subtle. GR Toys really knows their painting, and while it's nowhere near the complexity of the Cacarodontosaurus, it's still very nice, and I'm happy to finally have a more serious model as Darkid on my shelf. And while I really like this old one, this represents something which modern aesthetics and understanding considered stands on par with the other PNSOs, GR Toys, and some of the better Safari Limiteds. Now what might be nice would be to have a dinosaur in its mouth, just like the Collectae here. Now I'm trying to find something suitable to put in the mouth here of the right scale and time period, so if you Pterosaur fans out there have any ideas, please let me know. Now just one last thing, GR Toys had an interesting idea here for the first run, the inclusion of this second unpainted model for fans to paint and then submit for an online contest. And as you guys know, I can't paint to save my life, but I'll probably pass this to someone to work some magic. Or I just might keep it as an example of how a yet unpainted model looks like. So that's it for this quick look. I'm really looking forward to more from GR Toys, and I'm especially interested to see their take on Tyrannosaurus, which a rep told me was coming, though he neglected to divulge when. Tell me what you think, and if you have it and have already painted yours, I'd love a link to see what you've done with it. And if enough of you do this, I might put together a video montage. I'll see you guys soon for another video.